The one question we wanted to make sure is that we understood how it worked. And what we knew about how it worked was a question of scale. And the question of scale for virtual real estate in flipping websites for profit is, if you have a site, and this site is, is a, it's sale, it sells, so it's, so it's a sales-oriented site. What you actually want is you want traffic to come. And you want traffic to come from any source possible. So if you actually publish an article on a site and you put a link back to your site, you're going to start getting what's called link juice. So at one point we figured, well, if we actually have all of these sites and we create literally hundreds of these sites, and that becomes a portfolio, and we have two, three, four, five hundred of these sites, we can start interlinking the sites and creating link juice there to a certain degree. And then all of a sudden, every once in a while, we can point them to these sales pages that sell. Like Handcrafters Companion, like Get the Best Grades, like Speed Reading Video, like Alkaline Cookbook, like Oxy Rich. So what happens is these sites here have actually, um, people have invested 50, 60, 100,000 dollars and they can sell. So then if all of these sites here have links, which, which they can, to these sites here, now all of a sudden, you're getting link juice here, and you're getting link juice up here. So it's a win-win. So then the only issue is, well, where, where's the economic model? So Will and I said, well, if actually you, have, you want to make $100,000 in a year, that's $8,500 a month. So if you have 10 sites, each site needs to make 850 bucks. Because 10 times 850 bucks is 8,500. If you have 20 sites, it's 425. So all of a sudden, when you go down the scale, you get to a point where you could actually have the situation where you have a site that makes a dollar a day. So the site, one site, makes a dollar, one dollar per day. How thrilling is that? It's 30 bucks a month. But if you have 50 sites, that's $30 per month, sorry, $30 per month, per site, times 50 equals what? $1,500 per month equals how much? $18,000. So at a dollar a day times 50, it's $1,500 a month, that's $18,000. So the goal is to get Google AdSense running, so you're making $1 a day per site. And again, it takes three hours to explain to you the program, so I'm not selling you the program. What I'm selling you is the concept, is that we have people who are moguls who own 50 of these sites. So they own 50 of these sites. So 50 sites, 50 sites, etc. So we have multiple moguls. Then we have other people who own sites that are smaller portfolios of 10. So we now have hundreds of sites. Who controls these? We do. If you own these sites, what do you want us to do? Create as much traffic as possible. The more traffic you do, the more pennies you make. Ends up being dollars and ends up being this kind of money. So with these portfolios now, what do you think these people want? These mogul owners of these sites. They want to make money. So what they do is they want to make money so they can go to Alkaline Cookbook or they can go to Handcrafters Companion, and they can say, hey, I'm going to become an affiliate. So if it's a dollar a day or 30 bucks a month, and Handcrafters Companion sells for 27, let's just assume you get 100% commission. You don't, but let's just say you do. What happens to the revenue of, of, of that site if you sell one in a month? It doubles, right? So that means you're making now, if you did that for every site, you're now making $36,000. If every site just sells one product a month, if it sells two products a month, you're at 50,000. That makes sense? Let's just assume that these products are $27. It's pretty powerful, don't you think? <laughs> 